All right, folks, we have another uh, sort of a repair video today. Um, I don't know if you guys remember seeing this on my channel from a few months ago, but I bought this back in, actually it might have been last month, December. Uh, I got this off Facebook Marketplace for $40. Uh, it's one of those old school, early 2000s, Pan-Asian creations, life-size dancing Santa Clauses that were sold at Kmart. I, at Kmart was like the main place. I'm sure um, other retailers carried them as well because there's some in different style boxes. Um, this is one of the more uncommon variants. It plays three songs. However, he actually only plays one song. I don't know if you remember my old review I made of him up on this channel, but uh, neither one of his sensors work, his motion sensor nor his sound sensor. So in order to get him to activate, you have to turn him from off to on. And, um, you know, obviously when you set it to off again to activate him as well, it goes back to the first song, which is Jingle Bell. So he only plays Jingle Bell. So we're going to see what's up with his sensors and why they're not working maybe clean them out uh, maybe there's some components on his board that are bad uh even if we have to replace the sensors i'm not sure if i have any replacements but we'll open them up and um see what's wrong with them for now i'll give you a demonstration so i'll go down to the bottom of the base here and uh, there's his off and on switch i'll let that focus so we're gonna go ahead and turn them um on and then, uh, so there's him dancing to the first song. So now we won't go through the entire song. I've already uploaded a demonstration of him. He's a very nice dancing Santa. Um, I wanted one of the uh, Jemmy ones, whether it's the new Jemmy one or the old school Jemmy one. So I'm not sure if I'm going to keep this guy. I might keep him. I might resell him. I really don't know what I plan on doing with him yet. Um, so I'll show you what I mean. We turn him off now, and then we'll turn him on, and you know, that's the, only, that's the only way to get him to go. So, let's open up the base and see what's going on. Okay, so we're inside Santa Claus. Oh, I wanted to show you this, that um, the bottom of his base has a Kmart tag. 8888, very weird price. Um, I do remember actually seeing him and Mrs. Claus on display at the store. Um, two different seasons, they carried them. So, oh, well, you can see why the sound sensor doesn't work. Um... Yeah. Well, first of all, half of it chipped off right there. Looks like I got some moisture, some rust into this, and I'm assuming the same happened with the motion sensor. So we're going to go ahead and I'm going to try to replace both sensors. I, I don't know if I have replacement sound and motion sensors, but um, if not, maybe I could clean this one and get this one reworking. I, I really don't know. Um, probably not. I probably need a whole new one, but we'll, we'll see what we could do. Also, I wanted to say I'm very surprised how small this guy's circuit board is. That's it compared to the size of my finger. I mean, I know he only has one one motor, one movement, but um, I got three songs programmed into this little chip here. And, you know, we're talking. This guy, I, I'm pretty sure this guy's from, I, I don't know, 2002, 2003? I don't know, maybe a little bit later than that. But usually they had really big chips for, like, no reason. I mean... I'd say this is about the size of even a little Jemmy dancing hamster chip that it plays one song, you know, so I'm very surprised. And there's the blob right there. All right, so I got this Big Mouth Billy Bones here we're going to use for parts. Uh, funny story about this, I actually really wanted a fully working Big Mouth Billy Bones. I still do. I got this off eBay, uh, oh my God, months ago now, probably in the summertime. And, uh, uh, I knew that the head and tail didn't work, so I, I believe I just need another one of those. I, I forget what they're called, those, like, worm gears? Is that what they're called? Um, I don't think that's the right term I'm using. But anyway, it, a certain gear that go, drives, you know, from the motor, which, you know, then the motor spins a certain direction, it goes to the tail, spins the other direction, it goes to the head. You guys know what I'm talking about. Um, but the mouth didn't work either, surprisingly. The mouths, like, never break on these things. So when I was looking for an adapter piece I needed for Freddy, the first thing that came to mind was this because I never got a chance to repairing it. And, you know, there are a dime a dozen, so I figured I would just go ahead and buy another Big Mouth Billy Bones um, on eBay, uh, one that has a working mouth or at least a couple working functions or I only have to fix a few things. Um, so, yeah, I'll be on a lookout for a Big Mouth Billy Bones if anybody has one up for offering but uh so we're gonna go ahead and take the motion sensor out of this and um test it on santa claus
made in Philippines. Um, <laughs> I just wanted to show you guys. Actually, ironically, the motion sensors are like the perfect size. Um, you do have to take like certain parts out of them. Like this one it came out of another part that was part of the motion sensor Santa Claus. And this part came out of another part that was in the Billy, Billy Bones. Um, so I'm just going to solder these on. It's a little loose. This is the old Billy Bones one. It's a little loose in there. Um, so I'll have to try to fix that as best I could, but we're going to solder it and see if we could get the, um, the motion sensor to work at least, at least one of the sensors, um, preferably the motion sensor. Um, so we'll get on that. Okay. So we got the wire stripped here. And I make it a little bit easier on myself. I strip them a little bit. I don't know if you can kind of tell, but we got bare wire uh right there about the size of um almost my entire fingernail um reason being i could wrap it around here and it's a lot easier to solder it on so i'm gonna do that like so one thing you guys never want to do which hopefully you know is you never want to solder while your device is plugged in or has batteries in um, that will cause a short and most likely fry out your item. And then just get the other wire through here. And just twist it to make it a lot easier. And you have very steady hands for this. And, and fun fact, I'm actually a person who does not have steady hands, but I managed to make it work. You never want your wires to touch either while your device is plugged in. That will also cause a short. Okay. And we'll get our solder. Put some on the tip of our soldering iron here. You know, for projects like this, you don't need the fanciest soldering iron. I believe I got this one at Walmart for like 10 bucks. Um, so. Okay. Hopefully you guys could see, like I said, with the process of me moving my stuff back in here, I don't have the best locations to do recording right now. All right, so now we're going to let that cool down, let that solder dry, and we'll test the new sensor. And apparently it worked, because here he is playing the other song, which he wasn't able to do before, so it's great. So we're going to go ahead and put it back together. We're going to get this sensor back in his base. I do not have a sound sensor, unfortunately, to put in him, but you know what? This is good enough. And um, over here... There's one thing we have to do to his head, and that's just add a little dab of hot glue. His glasses came loose over here. So I actually never heard this one play all the songs before. I mean, I have on video, but not this one in person. So to prove it works, see, we just touch the sensor because it's a light sensor. So, all right. All right, folks, so uh, before we put Santa Claus back together, uh, there's a few things I want to do to his head here. Unfortunately, that piece of holly right there is starting to deteriorate, but uh, we have to glue the glasses because, as you can see, they're, you know, coming. They, they snapped apart right here on the side. The other thing is when he's standing, because he's only, uh, I'd say, five feet tall. I mean, I'm, I'm about average height. I'm six feet. So when, you know, you see him, you can't really see his face much. His hat's kind of like dangling in front of his eyes and whatnot. So what I'm going to do... Let's place a dab of hot glue on each side of the hat, maybe a little bit right above his eyebrows so you can see his face a little bit better. I think that's what they should have done in the first place, or maybe they did and maybe it wore off. I'm not really sure. So we'll take our glue gun here, and I'm going to do the eyebrows first since it's a little bit easier. So to see exactly where I want it, I'd say it's about right there. Like I said, I know you can't see a whole lot as to what I'm doing, I gotta find um, my little uh, camera holder. I don't, I'm not sure. It's in my storage. I'm still in the process of taking stuff out of my storage unit. I have almost all the animatronics out there, out of there. 
there's a few things I've left in there that I have to get out. And uh, there's some furniture in there I have to get out. And, you know, knickknacks and tabletops and whatnot. Hopefully this comes out all right. But I think that's, like, perfect. Just like how I wanted it. I just want to say thank you guys for, uh, you know, enjoying these repair videos. I, I, I wouldn't have done so many if you guys didn't enjoy them so much. But since you guys all definitely seem to like them. Uh, I'll definitely keep doing them, so keep giving me the feedback so I can keep making the videos. Um, I greatly appreciate it. And like I said, I'll see what I decide to do with the Santa Claus. I it, More than likely, I'm going to end up deciding to sell them. I do really like the Stancing Santa, but I don't have the space and uh, to you know keep multiple. And I really want to get the newer Jemmy Life Size Dancing Santa you know, the realistic version as they call it. And I would also like to get the older one as well, the older model that I had as a kid. And I don't have the space to keep uh, three life-size dancing Santas, so. I mean, realistically, yeah, I could put them in the attic, but am I ever going to use three life-size dancing Santas? Probably not. If I had use for this one, I would 100% keep him because he's really nice. Um, I really like the look on the face. I wish his mouth moves. Unfortunately, it doesn't. You know, they weren't made to do that. That's perfect, what do you guys think? Um, you know, and, and, you know, we'll, we'll see if I get the right offer, I'll definitely sell him. If not, I definitely don't mind keeping him. I'll find use for him. Um, I am going to have a store in the mall, uh, next Christmas season, just like I did a few years ago. Maybe I'll have them on display there if I don't sell them. So I don't know, but if you guys are interested, you know, you could always make an offer on him. So now that we got his head complete, I think it looks very nice. I'll go ahead and put his body back together and I'll show you him dancing. All right, folks, now that we got him up and running, we're going to go ahead and play a demonstration of him playing uh, all three songs. Dashing that's him we got him playing all three songs now with his brand new motion sensor working fine um i do love this life-size dancing sound i think it's really nice i wish he was a little bit more animated i wish they would have gave him either a turning head 
or uh, moving mouth just to make him a little bit more lively, like, you know, rather than so robotic. Um, <clears throat> so overall, Jemmy did much better on the animation of their dancing, life-size dancing Santas, but I, I will give Fan Age of I think the suit is a lot nicer on these ones. Uh, the face is a lot nicer looking and everything, but that's pretty much all I have to say for it. I'm probably going to end up selling this guy. I'm not really sure. You know, we'll see. Um, if I do, I'll post a video of it. Like I said, you guys are more than welcome to make offers. And I hope you guys enjoy these repair videos because I'm going to keep on making them. So thank you for watching.